Good morning, Margaret Newmeli here. Welcome to my podcast of the hymn book series, Savior of the World. Uh, we're in the seventh chapter and we're singing, He Saves All. Jesus Christ saves all people. So he is the, the Christ of God, the firstborn of creation. And so our... Uh, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. That is what Paul says. And also he says in another place that uh, um, uh, God our Savior will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth, our Father. And he says in Isaiah that in this holy um, mountain shall the Lord God of hosts prepare uh, a feast of five things for all peoples, our Father. A feast of five things on the full of marrow and of wine on the lees, and of wine on the lees well refined. And um, He will destroy in this place, in this mountain, the the veil, uh, the the face of the covering cast over all nations and the veil of um, the veil that is spread over all peoples he will destroy he will swallow up death uh, <laughs> forever in victory he will swallow up death in victory have a father and he shall wipe the tears from all all from all faces from off all faces and the rebuke of his people he shall take away <clears throat> so the Lord God has spoken and in that day uh, we shall say lo this is our God and he will save us this is the Lord he we will rejoice and be glad in his salvation Abba Father and he says that he creates a new heaven and a new earth and um, whereas the new heavens uh, uh, and and he creates the, the, the new heavens and the new earth and the former shall not be remembered neither come into mind Abba Father and um, and we, the, he asks us to rejoice rejoice in that which I create uh, rejoice forever in that which I create for I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy and I will rejoice in Jerusalem and I will joy in my people and the and the the voice of crying shall no more be heard in her neither the voice of weeping of a father so Paul says that uh, yeah if we Paul says that uh, in in the resurrection psalms uh, the resurrection <laughs> accounts first Corinthians that uh, um, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all fall asleep, uh, but we shall be changed. Uh, we shall be changed in the in the in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the sound of the of the trumpet. For the trumpet shall shall sound, and the dead shall rise uh, incorruptible, and we shall be changed, our Father. But this mortal, uh, but this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Um, and when this cor uh, corruptible shall put on, uh, shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying which is written: uh, "Death is swallowed up in uh, victory." O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, grave, where is your your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father. So at the last trumpet, the Lord shall descend with all his angels, and he shall come in the clouds, and we shall see him, and we shall be changed, and shall shall put on uh, immortality and also the dead uh, shall rise uh, and he says in uh, Thessalonians that uh, the Lord has not appointed us to wrath but to, uh, um, to obtain the, the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ but unto salvation 
it's uh, that uh, whether we wake or sleep, uh, we should live together with Him. For uh, so God raised up Christ Jesus, uh, that uh, we should live in Him. Whether we wake or, uh, or sleep, we should live forever with Him, our Father. For He is risen from the dead, and we are alive in Him, our Father. He says that He. And uh, that we that remain and uh, until uh, we that uh, uh, remain until the coming of the Lord shall not or um, shall not or um, surpass or <laughs> what is at uh, those that have fallen asleep for the Lord shall descend with uh, the shout of the archangel with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise uh, first and and we also shall be changed. Now they shall rise and be caught up in the clouds, and we also uh, shall be, we shall be caught up with them in the air, and we shall meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we always be with the Lord. So uh, the Lord is coming to save all, the, all His people. Uh, the Christ, he, the Lord Jesus Christ is the, the Christ of God, the new creation. He, himself because he saved us by his um, by his life he's the firstborn of creation and now we sing uh, see the this, this, this is it yeah see the son of man revealed he has come with salvation in his wings see he comes to rule the earth he shall judge the people in grace and truth jesus christ is the great i am he has conquered the great and is risen the king Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, and forever He lives to save every man. See, the Son of Man is here, and the nations have seen His righteousness. See, His kingdom set on dirt, and He rules in mercy and majesty. Jesus Christ is the great I am. He has conquered the grave and is risen again. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and forever He lives to save every man. Jesus Christ is the great I am. He has conquered the grave and is risen again. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, and forever He lives to save every man. And He lives forevermore, and He saves forevermore, and He lives. Forever he reigns in grace and truth. Oh, dead man is yours, single grave, your victory. Thanks be to God, we have the victory in Christ. Jesus Christ is the great I am. He has conquered the grave and is risen again. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, and forever he lives to save every man. Jesus Christ is the great I am. He has conquered the grave and is raised in the game. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and forever he lives to save every and he lives forevermore. And he saves forevermore and he lives and forever he reigns in grace and truth oh david is yours king of great your victory thanks be to god we have the victory in christ <laughs> jesus christ is the great i am he has conquered the grave and is risen again Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, and forever He lives to save every man. 
Jesus Christ is the great I am. He has conquered the grave and is risen again. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and forever he lives to save every man. Hallelujah. He is the Christ of God, the firstborn of creation. Now the creation, the world was created by God and um, the first man was created, Adam, and after that uh, he multiplied and gave birth to his generations. But uh, the purpose of the world was that um, the, the, uh, the world should be born of God. The first world was created and the Lord Jesus and the Christ of God, the Son of God, the only begotten of the Father was established as the as the, the first begotten of creation so that through his uh, so that because uh, the son of god uh, the eternally begotten of the father is the seed of god and whatever he births is born of god and so um, creation is the gift of the father to the son and the gift, this gift came with uh, a title, uh, someone, a title that is Christ who has to sustain creation. So creation and uh, Christ and creation are linked together. One, um, it is because the God was bringing creation into the world that Christ was established because creation is linked to Christ. It is in Christ that creation manifest. It is in the Son of God yeah, that creation manifests. And for this purpose, for the manifestation of creation, he took on the office of Christ so that he should birth creation in God in the events of the uh, uh, incarnation. But before the incarnation, before the world was created, the purpose of God is that which uh, stands that remains forever and so God birth um, and God chose the uh, son uh, Jesus as uh, his son as the Christ of God that uh, he should be the firstborn of creation that creation should be born of him and so um, the world was created and uh, heavens and heaven and earth and the trees the seas and uh, the animals and man and they began to produce and to multiply after their own kind but after their kind not after God's kind and so it is true the Lord Jesus and the Christ of God when he was born into the world the purpose of the creation was that Christ should be born the world was created for Christ to be born as Dr. Sean used to say so that Christ should, uh, uh, that there should be a habitat, there should be a mother, uh, a humanity that would uh, receive Christ, um, and uh, so he is born of uh, of of man. So he took on the human nature by being born of the Virgin Mary. But uh, for this sake, he came that he should birth the, uh, the Virgin Mary humanity and all of creation into God. And so in the, in, uh, in the resurrection, he, he births the new creation and all things are born of God. That is why Paul says that uh, all things have been made new and they are of God. Heaven and earth are born of God through the Lord Jesus because he is the firstborn. The emphasis here is on born, not on created. Yeah, not on create. So God uh, created the world uh, through Jesus Christ and he birthed it through Christ in the resurrection. Um, uh, after that Christ uh, had taken on humanity, was born into the world. So uh, and then the, and he birthed the world in God, who is the seed of the Father, like uh, the seed, the salt that uh, of the leaven that leavens the whole dough, and uh, the salt that uh, spices the whole food, 
and uh, he's the fullness the world was like a shadow of itself before Christ was born into it it lived but it had not yet attained uh, substance the fullness of what it should be until the firstborn uh, was uh, was incarnate and then in his resurrection he birthed uh, the new creation of God and so God looks at the purpose before them it's not about chronology that the, uh, the beginning the world was created it's about purpose so Jesus Christ is the firstborn of creation though he came in the middle of history but uh, in the middle of history but he is the firstborn uh, because it is through him, by him, for him, that the first world <laughs> was created, so that he should be born, and so do, so also that he should he should give birth today to the new creation, and so he is the firstborn of creation. He is eternally begotten of the Father, who, for the sake of creation, was made the firstborn to bring creation to the fullness of God. To share, so that creation and uh, the humanity creation should um, to share in the in the, the the divinity in the in the fullness of God and humanity should share in the should partake of the divine nature through Jesus Christ our Lord our Father uh, that's it that is it that the Christ of God so He saves all. So as the old creation includes all people, so also the new creation includes all people because the firstborn is of for all creation and all things that exist are in him and he has made all things new. So it's not like there is a, uh, there is a world which has been made new and the people are living in it. No, it is the people and all things that are in the world that have been made new and hence the the new creation so he saves all by his um, his title by what god has made him unto us righteousness wisdom sanctification redemption for all of creation our father so that is uh, so we're going to sing uh, the christ of god which is this is a revelation that god gave me at this time you are the Christ of God, Jesus the Son of God, the firstborn of creation, hallelujah. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of creation, for by Him Born of creation, I 
Father, bless with all blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Thank you for watching.